This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance too with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see Unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. All right, places, please. The Daily Mix Show is on deck. Guitars plugged in. Drums ready to go. Chickens. They're a-cluckin'. Other animals. And action. This is the Daily Mix Show on The Rock with Taryn Daly and Steve Miggs. While listening to The Daily Mix Show, please refrain from any unnecessary finger gesturing. 99.9 KISW. Good morning, Rockaholics, and happy hump day, Steve Miggs, Danny, and Sarah. You know what's great is that we're friends in real life, but we're also friends on Facebook. Okay. And I did, I just was curious. <laughs> I'm going I'm to put... Good thing, man. That's I, so good. For the longest time, I thought we were just friends on Facebook. <laughs> And I was like, man, when are we going to take the next step? I just have a trivia question for you. Of the three of you, who do you think I have the most mutual friends in common with on Facebook? And who do you think I have the least mutual friends in common with? Ooh. You know, I know I'm going to sound like a narcissist. <laughs> but I'm going to go with me because we share some mutual festival friends and some other like musician friends. So I'm, I'm, and then the radio people as well. I'm leaning towards you and I having the most mutual friends. And who do you think I have the least mutual friends with? Sarah. Okay, Sarah, what do you say? I was going to say the exact same thing. Really? Yep. Danny? See, I'm going to go with Steve being the most and me being the least. Danny, you would be wrong. Oh. These two are correct. Danny. You're right. Hey! 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 hey. hey. What the hey. hell are we doing? Danny. I don't know. We need to introduce each other to each other's friends. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Dude, you got to come over more often. Dude, it's so funny you bring this up because the other day I was like looking at some, one of my buddies and like we have 500 mutual friends. And I'm like, how do we have that many mutual friends? Do you want to guess how many we have in common? 450. 334. Wow. wow. Nice. That's a lot. Yeah. Pretty cool people. I mean, our friends are cool people, not us. Like, that determines whether or not we're cool. I think this conversation has proven that we are not we very are cool. Not very cool at all. How many mutuals do you have with Sarah? I have 145 mutual friends with Sarah and 196 with Danny. Boom. Okay, yeah. so you have to meet my friends then. Yeah, I guess because, so. Yeah. Come to a party. I want to yeah, meet all your friends. I think you're, you, my friends are just as crazy as you. So it'll be perfect. Oh my gosh. Possibly crazier. Imagine? Yeah. I no, smell I trouble. Can't. I smell trouble and maybe an arrest. <laughs> but oh, so much fun. <laughs> Let's inform the rockaholics. Knowledge is power. So give us five ish minutes and we'll give you uh, some interesting stuff you can talk about at work. This is the Daily Migs Download, AKA the DMD. Here's your daily dose of doings happening in the world. 
And the D&D is brought to you by Palace Lawn. Today's a big day for all of us that love one-hit wonders because today is National One-Hit Wonder Day. And I, I could care less about Zodiac signs and things like that. But for once, they grabbed me because somebody put together a list and matched up each Zodiac sign with the appropriate one-hit wonder. Oh, my gosh. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through the ones that represent us. Okay. So I figured we'll start with you. You are? A Capricorn. Capricorn. So looking at Capricorn, that would mean that you are most associated with this one-hit wonder. Of course you like this song. Does Danny and Sarah even know this one? Unfortunately. Why? Vince don't like the song. No, I thought maybe there was a reason why you heard it. Oh, no. It's so old. It's like 1989. Yeah, I've heard it somewhere. Black Velvet. And what's her name? Like Alana? Alana Miles. Alana Miles. I would have not guessed that. I thought that was Carrie Underwood. I could see Carrie Underwood covering this. She could rock Like Sarah McLaughlin. Yeah. I used to have the hots for Alana Miles, though. She was a smoke show. Oh, yeah? And according to this little study, they say it's it's sung by a Capricorn about a Capricorn. It's an ode to Elvis Presley, ruled by Taskmaster Saturn and represented by the Devil Tarot card. Capricorn is a sign of leather and legacy. Wow, that's deep. It went a long way to just basically say that this video has her singing in leather (laughs) pants. All right, we'll go with mine next. I'm a Libra. And this is a song that best represents me. I'm jealous. I like that their one hit wonder is a cover. Yes. <laughs> like that's kind of sad. Alien Ant Farm. Libras are good at being charming charlatans. Wow. That you almost want to thank them for robbing you. Smooth criminal. Oh, I like kind that. Of, kind of dumb. Now, Danny, you said you were jealous. But okay. honestly, you and Sarah both are Sagittarius's, right? Woo! Yep. You have the best one. Oh, let's okay. go. Are you ready? Yeah. Do you have any guesses based I'm, on what I just said? I'm hoping it's lit my own worst enemy. Okay. Sarah, what are you thinking? Ooh. Oh. So, uh, the, the Mariah Carey, the Christmas song that's really famous. No. What the hell is wrong with that? think that's the... a one-hit wonder? Oh, she, I, she that's has a lot of hits. I know. Oh, no, boy. it's this. I get no it has my name in it. Sagittarius is the sign of the eternal optimist and the pursuit of having a good time all of the time. And it does have your name in it. That's awesome. You win, Danny. <laughs> Thank you. This is so us. This is so us. It's such a good song. No, it's not a good time. Oh. It's the last night if you decided to watch the Mariners. Maybe you needed a whiskey drink or a vodka drink because the Mariners left many people on sc- in scoring positions, many ba- many players on base, and ended up losing 4-3, to three, which clinched the fourth straight AL West title for the Houston Astros. Mariners are now two and a half games out of the AL wild card race. There's still a chance, but really, no. And then the Kraken lost their preseason game. They looked a little bit better, but you know, nothing to get too concerned about. They lost 3-1 to Vancouver. And then the Seattle Storm ended up losing game two of the playoffs, so now they're done. So yesterday just sucked for oh, Seattle sports fans. Wah, wah. The union representing over 33,000 striking Boeing machinists has refused to hold a vote on Boeing's latest contract offer. And this is because they feel the company is refusing to negotiate on some of the key issues they've brought up. The union is pushing for a 40% raise, better health care, job security, and the reinstatement of pensions. But Boeing's offer includes only a 30% wage increase over four years. Also some bonuses and improved 401k contributions, but the the union is not satisfied. I'm just curious now what happens because the, because Boeing's like, here's our offer, final offer. And then they said, we're not even voting on your offer. Like, where do we go from here now? Uh, get your popcorn. Yeah, I think they already have it because they're not working. <laughs> hey, as far as weather, 63 degrees, it's going to be rain today. So back... Well, I guess now starts the crappy weather. Oh. That's the DMD, and that's what's up. <laughs> Yesterday, we talked about this woman that went viral because she started dating pretty soon after her husband passed away. So we decided to go home and ask our partners right. to see how they would handle this. <laughs> You're going to hear what they had to say at 620. The Daily Mix Show. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance, too, with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. 
Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. Yesterday, we played audio from a woman who ended up going viral on TikTok because of what she posted. <laughs> she about, pissed off a few people. She did because she was talking about how she started dating pretty soon after her husband passed away. If you missed it yesterday, this is the audio. And just to pay, paint a picture, she's in, a, in the video, she's playing with her two kids in the kitchen, and then she's like narrating it with some powerful music. Mm-hmm. So here you go. Because he's not my God. Because one guy dying isn't going to ruin the rest of my life. Because one bad thing isn't going to ruin you either. What has happened that leads you to think that everything is feeling bad and dark and depressing? We got to fix it. You got to root it out. You got to start walking towards something better. Stop living in the past. Stop living in your head and start walking towards a better future and a better tomorrow. Because I promise you, if you will start looking forward to something and create a reason to wake up every day beyond just survival, you will start to feel feelings of happiness and joy again. D. So, I do feel like everyone on that. There's like a lot of people on social media that are just like trying to become like their own motivational speaker. Yeah. And I mean, I just feel like that. I see that a lot these days. Yeah. Like everyone's got a TED talk, <laughs> and it's just like okay, just because you put some inspirational music behind it doesn't mean that all of a sudden you should be going on some kind of long-winded tirade, or that anybody cares or is listening. <laughs> well, I care, especially if you're showing like a low cut top. I'll, I'll pay attention to what oh, you're saying. No. I mean, yeah, I totally agree. I hear you. Yeah, oh man. See you. I I've never felt more felt. <laughs> okay. Sorry, that, that's so bad. we decided we needed to go home and ask our partners about this. <laughs> never felt more felt. <laughs> felt more felt. We wanted to see how our partners would feel about all of this. So let's start with my husband, Brad. Ooh, I'm curious. Brad's a chill dude. Very chill. I'm, I, I, and stoned. And usually. <laughs> I have a feeling that he's going to be completely fine with like both sides. Like either you dating or if, you're, if you unfortunately passed away, that he would just jump right back in. That's my that's my vibe. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah. I think he's going to be. I don't think he's going to be cool with it <laughs> at all. <laughs> no, I, because it, it, based on some of his past answers of like, yeah, I I just see him being like, yeah, that's not going to happen. Shut it down. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going to be cool with you going out. Okay, so you two think he's not going to be cool with it. I think he's going to be stoned and not care. <laughs> Let's see. Honey, I have to ask you a question, and I don't like this question at all. I don't even like the subject, but it must be asked, and I was hoping you would answer it for... Nice setup right there. (laughs) I'm not hoping for this to happen, so this this isn't a red flag. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay. If you were to pass away, first of all, I would be devastated. How soon after you are passing do you think it would be appropriate for me to start dating? Couple of years. Couple of years. Okay, and what about like falling in love again? Well, of course, yeah. You'd be okay with that? How about that? See, he's chill. Yeah. Couple of years. Couple of years falling in love. Couple of years? Is I, that not enough? No, I think I don't think that's very chill. <laughs> oh. Oh no. 
Yeah. Oh, when I say it a couple of years, you guys thought I was crazy. Yeah, chill. I was thinking like six months. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, just confirm my, my opinion. But you're kind of right. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. A couple months would be super chill. If I say it's crazy, if Brad says it, it's so chill, man. So chill. It's, it's on how you say it. Yeah. You're right. You I have do. the crazy I, eyes. I do sound crazy all the time. <laughs> I would want you to have love, sure. Aww. Okay, now same question. If I were to pass away, how soon afterwards do you think you would start dating? When the moment hits you, it hits you. Oh. <laughs> right? Two different answers, man. Two different answers. When I'm ready, babe, that's when it'll happen. That's <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, I need to hear that part. When the moment hits you, it hits you. <laughs> Sounds evil. It's loud. Did you sleep with one eye open last night? Yes. Gripping your pillow tight. <laughs> it would be a couple of years. Do you think it would be weird if you or I started dating one of the other one's best friends? Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's off limits. <laughs> wow. That's right. Sarah and Brad are the same. Just in a different vibe. Yeah, totally different yeah. delivery. Like one's like answers it like if, as if they're on weed. The other one answers it like as if they're on meth. <laughs> <laughs> you pick which one's which. Still the same answer though. Very true. I Very feel like, true. Migs, I feel like your wife will not sound like she's on weed or meth, but let's check in with Sid. Okay, so I, for, I, I didn't forget, but we just had so much stuff going on yesterday. So I had to call her this morning. Oh, no. And like she's like just woke up. Having breakfast, reading her devotionals. I'm like, oh. babe, got a question for you. Can you put the Bible down? Oh. <laughs> this is what happened. I, have, uh, the, I forgot to ask you this yesterday, but I have the dumbest and most awkward question to ask you for our show. What? Okay. If you were to pass away before me, which seems like a long shot, but if that was... You know, because I'm old. Yeah. 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 She's, she's younger young. than me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but if that was the case, uh, how soon do I have to wait until I can start dating again? Uh-huh. Mm, at least a year. At least a year. Yeah. Okay. Now, on the flip side, if I passed away, how long would you wait before you would start dating? I mean, just so I don't look bad, at least a year. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening here? Yeah. Sid coming in with the comedy. Yeah. I like that. I like that. You don't want to look like a hypocrite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last thing was we talked to a listener who started dating her her now past husband's best friend. How would you feel if one of us was dating the best friend of the other person? Now remember, I, I truly think that it would be it would make sense to, you know, date the best friend because well you know they're gonna take care of you. Yep. That would be weird. That, yep, she she thought it was weird as well. Mm-hmm. That would be weird. It wouldn't be yeah. a thing where you could trust that you feel like, oh I could trust them there with somebody that would care for them. No, it'd be weird. It'd be weird. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. I just want to say y'all significant others are like me. <laughs> Whether you want to admit it or not. You guys married Sarah. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> Rockaholics, if you have been through something like this and want to share your thoughts, by the way, please feel free to call in. 206-803-ROCK. So we've heard from ours, Steve, but I have a feeling the juiciest answers are yet to come. Yes. When we check in with Danny and Sarah's partners, and we're going to hear what they had to say after Red Hot Chili Peppers. The Daily Mix Show. Hi. The Daily Mix Show. We have been talking about how our significant others would handle dating if we were to pass away. And this is all based on a woman that went viral for saying she started dating a guy pretty soon after her husband passed. And we actually have some rockaholics with a little experience in this world as well. 206-803-ROCK. Let's chat with Paul on I-5. Paul, you lost your wife. And how long did you wait before you started dating? Uh, Well, the grief counselors and grief therapists and everything told me I should wait a year at least. So that's what I did. I waited a year. And was that for just everything, like just communicating, hanging out? I mean, obviously dating, but like, you know, like just sometimes you just want to grab like a coffee. Like, were you just like, I'm just going to wait a full year before I even have any communication with another person? Uh, No, (laughs) no, you definitely, you know, you're, you, you talk to women and stuff, but I didn't go any farther than that. Gotcha. And it, uh, part of that too is I have kids, and I I want, didn't want to rush into anything too soon for their sake as well. Oh, absolutely. And, and was it something where you, when when you first started dating someone, you kind of explained what was going on in your world, and, and was that a tough conversation to have with them? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it is very much so. Yeah. And how are things going for you right now? Actually, very very good. I'm uh, with my girlfriend for two, three years now. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. 
You're welcome. Have a good day, guys. You, you guys too, my do. friend. All right, old man Kenny old from Gig Harbor. Kenny. Tell us your story. Hi. Yes, uh, my wife's ex. Uh, uh, excuse me. My wife's brother passed away in 2002. Okay. And her ex husband was her brother's best friend. Are you with me so far? Yes. So my wife's brother died. Uh-huh. Her ex-husband was his best friend, and he hooked up with his wife, the deceased person's wife. So basically, uh, my wife's ex-husband hooked up with his sister-in-law. How did Whoa. the family take that? Um, you know, it was... This was back in 2003. It was really a trip. We're liberal. I'm liberal all the way. Um, we actually had him down for the weekend and stayed the weekend. So my wife, and, you know, I just teach the kids. Let's teach them to move on, to look forward. Um, they spent the weekend here. So my wife had her ex-husband sleep with her sister-in-law out in a tent here for a weekend. But, yeah. Uh, Did your wife at any point how- go, this is weird, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, yeah. I, I was tiptoeing here or there, but, I mean, he just went through a bunch of turmoil. Uh, uh, my wife's ex-husband found out his wife had been messing around for years, and and uh, he lost his best buddy, and the mm-hmm. sister-in-law lost her husband, and they hooked up. What are you going to do, right? Yeah. I got to imagine it whenever anyone's like, hey, how'd you guys meet? They're like, oh, crap. How much time do you guys have? <laughs> so Wicked Web. <laughs> wicked Web we have woven. <laughs> so far, we got to hear from my husband, Brad, and Migs. We talked to your wife, Sid, this morning about right. their feelings. And if you missed it, you can download the Daily Migs Daily Podcast to check it out. But it's time to see now what Danny's girlfriend, Linda, would say about all this. I feel like she's going to just be annoyed the moment he starts asking a question. <laughs> well okay. No. Hi, babe. No. Oh, I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong. What? Gotta ask you a question. What do you mean, no? <laughs> no, you bust open your phone. I know exactly what you're gonna do. I really hope you can't hear the TV. It's the notebook, <laughs> and it's just like them thrusting right now. <laughs> okay, how do I ask this question? Are you guys just randomly watching the notebook? Of course. I love that. Yeah, it was just on, and it was the sex scene. And of course, I, I was like, wow, I probably should have planned this better. And you're like, whoa, wait, come to think of it, I have a question to ask you since yeah. you're watching a movie about dead people. Yeah. If you die, how long do I have to wait before I start dating? I mean, I don't care because I'm dead. Okay, so like, I could like have your funeral and then like go out to the bars and hit on girls? I mean, that feels excessive. That just shows that you never really loved me in the first place. Okay, so, okay. Don't even think about it. Called Daniel. out, Daniel. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so, so how long? I would say, like, well, I guess it also depends on how I died, but I'm going to say, like, maybe a year. Is there a certain way that she can die that it's okay to date sooner? <laughs> yeah, of course. No, I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, I don't know. That friend You're- is Danny. <laughs> a year or two? A year to start dating? Well, if you're going to do what you're going to do anyways, then just go do it. Why are you asking me? That's fair. Okay, so this is the second question. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How long would I would you have to be dead for it, it to be okay f- for me to date? I'm dead. You can start dating before you, you put me in the ground. You <laughs> make me pick a number. You pick a number. Yeah, Danny. When I die. Like, yeah. you can go hit on the nurse at the hospital right <laughs> after. Okay. So then, okay, follow-up question. If you die, can I date your best friend? I mean, she's married, but okay. But if she wasn't married? If you wanted to. Does it matter? I'm dead. <laughs> so it, done with you. It clearly does matter, Miss Thang, if you want him to wait a year or two. <laughs> Would you date my best friend if I died? Which one? Anyone. That's a very good question. danny has got like 70,000 <laughs> best friends. <laughs> at, at least. Like, I feel like if they would be into it, maybe... But, like, if I knew that I was going to, like, approach them and, like, make a move or something, and they would be completely disturbed by that, then, like, no, I would never go for it. That's reasonable. Yeah. Reasonable. So, we, I feel like we saved the best for last. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure about that, but I do, I feel that in my heart. Sarah's husband, George. Hi, babe. I have a question. Okay. If you die, how fast can I start dating people? Like, put me in the ground first, and then, <laughs> and then whatever, I'm dead. I... <laughs> so just make sure I'm buried and then um, do whatever you want to do. I can date whenever, as long as you're, you know, in the ground. Burnt up, yeah. Real- Burnt up, Burnt yeah. Wow. He doesn't know how he wants to go yet. <laughs> He's figuring it out. He's got a little bit. Maybe half of his body's going to be buried. The other half's burnt up. Yeah, exactly. That's his body. Really? So it doesn't matter? No way. I'm dead. 
So I can fall in love with someone right after you die. I mean, I think people would think that's a little weird. But I can. I don't care. I'm dead. <laughs> Exactly. I think I think he's wishing he was dead during this conversation. <laughs> and I that means I can like bang whoever I want to then. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, what about your friends? You don't want to bang any of my friends. But what if I did? Could I the... I'm dead. <laughs> he's like, are you not hearing me? <laughs> so it's fine. Everything everything is I'm not alive. It doesn't matter. So I can do whatever I want. Yes. Oh, oh. oh my god. How excited she is about it. I just love it. He's like, I don't care. I'm dead. Can I go back to playing my video games, please? <laughs> Literally. And also, then I keep asking him. Also, if you look at the video on her Instagram, it's it looks like you made him sit outside on the porch with you to ask this question like two old people. I did. <laughs> I was like, get your sunglasses, babe. We're going outside. Get your sunglasses. What? You don't want to bang any of my friends. Oh, boy. <laughs> Little does he know. I'm Rock- just <laughs> <laughs> Rockaholics, we need someone. To call us up now and challenge Steve to a game of Beat Migs. Let's go. His record is 270 wins, 75 losses, and 49 ties in 2024. 206 803 Rock. We will play Beat Migs at 650. The Daily Migs Show. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance, too, with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance, too, with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see Unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. 
we were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. The Daily Mix Show presents the most popular radio game on this side of the speaker. Let's play B-Mix. B-Mix, don't be a loser. I know Nikki from Tacoma hey. is. Nikki, are you there? I am. I'm Sarah, your host, and it's time for you to get out of here, Steve. Bye-bye. For those playing at home, Nikki has 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. You can pass all you want, but you only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? I am, and it's my birthday, so hopefully it, hopefully it'll not too bad. Yay. Happy birthday. We're all rooting for you over here. Even Danny. Thank you. What is the video game where you play as a blue hedgehog that collects rings? Uh, Sonic. Correct. What is the name of the river that flows through Egypt? The Nile. Yes. Who plays the dude in the the the, the big Lebowski? Uh, pass. Michael Bublé and Snoop Dogg are new judges on what reality show? American Idol. No. Oh, uh, pass. Mean Joe Green played 13 seasons for, for what NFL team? Uh, the Packers? No. Pass. What band has the albums These Days and Keep the Faith? Uh, Green Day? No. Three Days Grace? No. Pass. What kind of dog was the title character in the 50s show The Adventures of Rin Tin Tin? A uh, golden retriever? No. A lab? No. A Rottweiler? No. What fruit shares a significant portion of its DNA with humans? I'm sorry. Can you repeat that one more time? What fruit shares its shares a significant portion of its DNA with humans? What fruit? Yes. Oh. It's yellow. It's a yellow fruit. Bananas. Yeah! Woo! Nikki, how'd you know? <laughs> also, I have a quick question. On the music question, is that is that a band that we should all know, Taryn? I think so. Okay. I yes. Think so. Yes. Well, you obviously don't. But, Nikki, you know, you got three correct. Well, it's better than zero, I guess. It, you know what? It's better than zero. It's better than one. And it's better than two. I love a positive attitude yes, like that. I love, how, how old are you turning today, Nikki? Can I ask? I am. I am 35 today. Mid thirties. How's it feel? Oh, um, well, if I would have done better, I would have felt I would have felt much better. But oh. <laughs> hey, well, they can put their money where their mouth is and tell them to call in and try to play. Is it, is it Nikki's birthday? It's Nikki's birthday. Happy birthday, Nikki. <laughs> nice. All right, Steve, are you ready? Yes. 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 What is the video game where you play as a blue hedgehog that collects Sonic rings? the Hedgehog. You know it. What is the name of the river that flows through Egypt? The Nile. Correct. Who plays the dude in The Big Lebowski? Jeff Bridges. Yes. Michael Bublé and Snoop Dogg are new judges on what reality show? We were just watching it last night, baby. And Snoop is awesome on it. So is, is Bublé, actually. They're all great. Stefani and then Reeb is fantastic. The voice. How do you know all of that? Yes. Mean Joe Green played 13 seasons for what NFL team? Pittsburgh Steelers. Yes. What band has the albums These Days and Keep the Faith? Well, it's not the Foo Fighters. Mm-mm. Oh, let's keep the faithful, I think. But no. 
Gotcha, gotcha. Ooh. Sorry. Uh, they have a song called DJ. Is it Bon Jovi? What? It is correct. Mm. What kind of dog was the title character in the 50s show, The Adventures of Rin Tin Tin? A, a, a collie? No. A pit bull? No. A poodle? No. <laughs> what fruit shares a significant portion of its DNA with humans? A fruit portion? I don't know. Apples? No. Lemons? No. Tangerines? No. Bananas? <laughs> yes. Oh, Too late, it. though. Oh. It is bananas. The answer is always bananas. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because, Steve, you got six correct, which is a win. Six to three. I'm the best. I'm the best. <laughs> On her birthday, too, Steve? Well, some would call that a birthday spanking. Oh. <laughs> some are into that. Nikki, I hope One you have down, a... 34 to go. <laughs> yeah. Have a great day, Nikki. I hope you have an awesome birthday. You too. I, I'll try. Well, I mean. <laughs> Happy so. birthday, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my birthday. <laughs> what kind of dog was the title character in the 50 show Adventures of Rin Tin Tin? Uh, when, when she, I think she said Golden Retriever, and I thought that was it. I have no idea. It was kind of one of those basic dogs, a German Shepherd. German Shepherd. Mm. That makes sense. Yeah, I was trying to think of like some of like the more like, because back in those days, it wasn't like all these random dogs. Right, right. They didn't have a multi poo. They didn't have golden doodles. <laughs> well, congratulations, Steve, on beating Nikki on her birthday. We know that talk has the power to save lives. And tonight, across all Odyssey stations, you can tune in for I'm Listening. Some of our favorite rock artists like Slash and Billy Corgan will be part of the program, plus athletes, nice. medical experts. We're all going to be highlighting why having these open and honest conversations around mental health is so important. And we invite you to join the conversation and get more info at KISW.com. Rockaholics, we do from time to time ask you for a little bit of help and we could use your help right now because a friend of the show is going through some pretty tough times and they do so much good in our communities. We're going to tell you what's going on after Aerosmith. The Daily, the Daily Big Show. Rockaholics, we're going to call on you for a little bit of help because a friend of the show is going through some rough times and they do so much good in our community and Migs, you've found this on Facebook, came across this on Facebook, and I'll, I want you to explain it to everyone. Yeah, I was just scrolling through, and I, it's just one of those things, I have no idea that we're even doing this, but I was just reading one of my friends and our friends, Jamie, who who's, um, who runs Motley Zoo Animal Rescue, motleyzoo.org. She's the best. And she's absolutely mm-hmm. the best, and they've come to a lot of our concerts, they bring some of their animals, I'm sure a lot of people who listen have uh, adopted a pet from Motley Zoo. They're just good people. They've even done stuff with SOS Pro Wrestling where they've been there, like, you know, helping raise money for their charity. And, and we're always happy to help them in any way that we can because they do good work. And she shared something on her social media page that just kind of hit me right in the gut. She was talking about how, like, it looked like they got a significant donation. And she's like, oh, this is great because apparently they're going through some tough times. It's hard to be able to house all those dogs. They're a small organization. They're not like, you know, one of these big organizations that just has a bunch of resources and money and a bunch of space where they could have all these animals. So they're just kind of getting by month to month. And they, they're like, oh, crap, we've got this incredible donation. And it turns out it was a scam. Mm. And it was just like one of those moments where she's just like, I'm back to reality that, no, we're still in a bad time. This is one of the worst times that they've ever seen in the animal welfare business for them. And they're just heartbroken because they can't seem to be able to save the animals fast enough. And it's just too much. And when I was reading that, I'm like, well, I don't know what we can do to help, but wouldn't it be awesome if just today for one, a random day, just a random act of kindness, if all of our rockaholics, even if it was like a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever you got, you donate. And then she wakes up to her phone. Like, I don't know how she sees the donations, but she wakes up and sees how did we get a crap ton of donations after a crappy day like yesterday? Totally. And one thing that I learned recently is that because a lot of companies have had their, you know, employees have to go back to work full time. That's one of the reasons a lot of people are giving up their animals again. So these local rescues like Motley Zoo Animal Rescue are being like inundated with additional pets that are looking for forever homes. So the need is great right now. And for them to go through something like that when there is so much hope when you think you're getting a donation like that to have that just wiped. Yeah, I saw that part. I was like, that just sucks. Like here you are thinking, okay, now we have a light at the end of this tunnel, which I I I didn't realize that there going through some tough times but from her post it sounds like you know it's a struggle and it's a struggle just to be able to do a good thing like find homes for these animals that need homes and and be able to you know keep a place where they can be until they find those forever homes so whatever you got if you got a dollar that would definitely help five like i said she has no idea that we're doing this this isn't like some sanctioned thing that our station just put together like we're gonna wrap around i just Woke up this morning after thinking about it. I'm like, I, you know what? Let's just go on the air and just ask our audience just to donate a couple bucks. Even if it's like, like I said, a dollar. Or if you have extra money and you can afford it, a hundred bucks. 
just I feel like, you know, she and them, they deserve good news this morning. Let's especially, give them a boost. Especially after what happened yesterday. I was like, man, F that person who scammed them. You know what? Join the 69 Club. Join the 69 Club. Get crazy. Yeah. And they're awesome, man, because they name all their animals after, like, rock stars. They had a dog named Limp Biscuit. What? Yeah. I just saw him. He's super cute. Is he still around? I, I believe so. I'm still on animal probation, though, so I'm not allowed to adopt any new animals. But I will make a donation this morning, absolutely. Sarah's going to share, I think, their their page on our social media, too. If you follow us, our handle is at Daily Migs. Yeah. No I in Daily. And the website, again, Steve, is? It's just MotleyZoo.org. Easy peasy. Yeah. And thanks for helping out, Rockaholics. We really appreciate and shout that. Shout out to Jamie and everyone over there. And hopefully she can wake up with some great news from the Rockaholics. And we'll keep, we'll keep mentioning it throughout the morning. But, yeah, just a random day of act. Uh, a random act of kindness. Yes. Today is National One-Hit Wonder Day, and we are going to be put to the test on how well we know some of the most iconic one-hit wonders. We're going to find out about these songs. There's a little bit of a twist I'm oh. going to do for you guys, so I'm going to make it easy for you. Sneaky Steve. That's what's up. All right, we're going to find out what Sneaky Steve has up his sleeve at 720. The Daily Mix Show. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance too with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. Today, our country celebrates National (laughs) One-Hit Wonder Day. It's a big national holiday. VH1, of course, put out a list of the top 100 one-hit wonders of all time. And I figured instead of just going through the list like sometimes we would do, and it's always fun hearing some of these one-hit... I'm a sucker for a one-hit wonder. Oh, yeah. I, I, it doesn't matter what genre. If it's a one-hit wonder, I'm like, yeah, let's let's listen to it. It's just It triggers a lot of nostalgia. For sure. So I found... 8-bit versions of these one-hit wonders. I just picked some random ones, ones that I think you guys would enjoy. Oh, boy. And I'm going to see how well you know them based on listening to them as an 8-bit song. Okay. So, (laughs) without further ado, it's time for 8-bit one-hit. The Waldino one-hit wonders. (laughs) When they sound like a video game theme, time to play. 8-bit one-hit. On the Daily Mix Show. That's for you, Danny. Danny is so annoyed. I legit thought this was going to be, we're starting out with a one-hit wonder, not an intro for the one-hit wonders. <laughs> no. I get you now. It are makes you, sense. Are you ready? Now that we've pissed off Danny, I think I may be able to bring up the mood, though, for Danny V. Are you ready for the first one? Let's go. Let's see if you guys can figure out what song this is. Oh, this is Chumbawamba. Yeah, I might say that, that might be the number one one-hit wonder of all time. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. It's funny that they didn't have like anything else. Well, I mean, to be fair, I did have the whole album and listen to the entire thing. But no, it, that was really the only song that mattered. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. the only song that mattered. I think people would rather just listen to Chumbawamba and then the 8-bit version of Chumbawamba. Oh. All right, you ready for the next one? Give it to us. All right, here we go. Oh, that is big. Uh, what is it? I like big butts. Baby got back. Baby, Baby got, got back. Got back. Thank yes. You. <laughs> Remolo. Oh, baby. Remolo. <laughs> Remolo. <laughs> Which I still think is my favorite. Every once in a while, you still run into someone from like from Bremerton. And I got one of our listener events. And like, oh, let me tell you about Bremolo. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, okay. Do tell. All right. You ready for the next one? Yeah. Oh, we get what? Let's come on, feel the noise by Quiet Riot. What? Cry, quiet Riot. So far, you're crushing these. Danny and Sarah are not doing so well. <laughs> not at all. Wow. Like, as a kid, I didn't know that. And I remember being like, this is so cool. Look how edgy they are with how they spell their words. Honestly, when I I didn't know they did that either until I started working here. And I was like, oh, come on, Ryan Castle. <laughs> he is a child. And then I realized, no, that, oh, that's how they actually did it. And I wonder how many people back in like the 80s had no idea what they were doing right there. Yeah. And also, like, they put noise. They spelled it with a Z. So, I mean, it kind of took people off the wrong wrong path. Oh, and yeah. I remember being a kid so obsessed with that song that I made out of tinfoil the quiet riot mask oh you know, awesome. wear it around my house which was very troubling in the <laughs> eyes of my parents <laughs> alright we got a couple more you ready yeah when I wake up hey oh yeah this is Danny's jam I do love the song it's such a great song if you don't know it don't do it early in the night. You got to do it when everybody's good and drunk. Sure. <laughs> All right. One last one. I'm trying to think of who's going to get this one. I feel like it's just going to be Taryn. Probably. Oh, oh nice. nice. Oh, Danny got one. <laughs> Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with a brand new invention. That's great. You know, honestly, Limp Biscuit should kick Corey Feldman off the next tour and bring me vanilla ice in. Dude, it would be so good. I mean, that would that would sell. I mean, obviously, when we went, they didn't they didn't have any problem selling tickets. That's but fair. I feel like that would have added to the definite size of the crowd. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Again, Taryn, let's go. Rolling. Lincoln Park just released another brand new song featuring their new lead singer, Emily Armstrong. So what does it sound like? Not like the 8-bit songs. No, not, not at all. You're going to hear it after Lincoln Park. The Daily Mix Show. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance, too, with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. 
Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance too with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. The Daily Mix Show presents the most popular radio game on this side of the speaker. Let's play Beat Mix. Beat Mix. Don't be a loser. I know Ken from Tacoma is. Ken, are you there? Yes, I am. Ken, did you know there is a cheat sheet for the 750 beat Megs? I'm a purist. I'm all about the integrity of the game. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. That's what's up, Ken. I love that. But if you're not into the integrity, you can listen at 440 in the men's room, and Taryn will give you three answers to the 750 beat Megs. That's right. All right, Steve, it's time for you to get out of here. Goodbye. For those playing at home, Ken has 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. You can pass all you want, but you only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Like Nikki before me, it's my birthday. Hopefully I do better than she does. Whoa, happy is. birthday! I love this. Happy birthday. We're all rooting for you here. How many, Let's do it. How many continents are there in the world? Seven. Correct. What is the name of a fictional spy who likes his martinis shaken, not stirred? Bond, James Bond. Yes. What former Green Bay Packers quarterback was recently diagnosed with Parkinson's disease? Red Fabry. <laughs> yes. Which kind of bird is the symbol of wisdom in many cultures? Owl. Correct. What popular entertainment restaurant chain is also the founder of Atari? Uh, Chuck E. Cheese. Yes. Charles Darwin was known as the father of what? Uh, evolution. Correct. Who voiced Anna in the musical Frozen? Uh, uh, oh, yes. What kind of animal is video game character Yoshi? He's a dinosaur. Correct. Which U.S. president is known for delivering the Gettysburg Address? Lincoln. Yes. Donald Glover is also known as what rapper? Uh, Childish Gambino. Correct. Who voiced Anne in the musical Frozen? Oh, uh, 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 I can't get it. Dang you... It. Got nine correct, Damn, though. Damn, birthday boy. Woo. I smell a victory. I do, too, because I don't think... Oh, don't... Don't jinx it? Come on. 
I don't, don't, don't make me cook it. You know? <laughs> wow. Yeah, you ruined that one, Taryn. <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. Sorry, Steve. We're all rooting for Ken because it's also his birthday today. <laughs> Wait, the last person who played beat makes it was their birthday. I know. You pretty much ruined her birthday. So. I did. <laughs> yeah. I did. I gave her a birthday spanking. <laughs> and now it's Ken's turn. <laughs> Steve, are you ready? Yes! How many continents are there in the world? There are seven. There are. What is the name of the fictional spy who likes his martinis shaken, not stirred? Oh, Bond. James Bond. Correct. What former Green Bay Packers quarterback was recently diagnosed with Parkinson's disease? That's Brett Favre. Correct. Favre. What? Which kind of bird is the symbol of wisdom in many cultures? An owl? Correct. Ooh, what popular ooh. entertainment restaurant chain is also the founder of Atari? Oh, I saw the documentary about it. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese. You would, yes. It's about Charles Atari. Charles Darwin was known as the father of what? Father of weird deaths. No. Um, there's a Darwin award. Uh, father of the uh, evolution. Yes. Who voiced Anna in the musical Frozen? Um, Anna Paquin. No. Um, uh, uh, Jean, Jenna Jameson. No. Yeah. Wow. Um, just, I don't know. Adam Sandler. No. What kind of animal is video game character Yoshi? What kind of animal bear? No. Pig. No. What? Dog? No. Oh Dinosaur. Wow, well, there you go. Way That's too an, late. Too stressed. many guesses. Anxiety got the better of me on that one. Steve... You got six correct, which is a loss. Six to nine. Nice. That is nice. Ken, you spanked Steve, and it's not even his birthday. That's wonderful. And I also got to donate the money to the Motley Zoo. So it's a wonderful birthday. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Ken. Ken, Ken, you're awesome. Thank you for doing that. And if anyone wants to donate some money, go to MotleyZoo.org. They they just got recently got scammed. Some some D-bag scammed them and... You know, we just want to help give them a light at the end of this tunnel of just a, a crappy couple of days. So mm-hmm. if any rock hogs can donate some money to Motley Zoo, the animal rescue, just go to MotleyZoo.org. You finally discovered that Yoshi is indeed a dinosaur. Yep. Uh, which U.S. president is known for del- delivering the Gettysburg Address? Is that Thomas Jefferson? No. Mr. Lincoln. Oh. Uh, and Donald Glover. Is, is that UPS? <laughs> 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 Donald Glover is also known as what rapper? Oh, crap. Um, Childish Gambino. Yes. yes. Ken got that correct, too, and I was very surprised. And does anyone know who voiced Anna in the musical Frozen? First off, her name is Anna. Yeah, yeah. Get it right. That's why I didn't get it right. Have and a child. Okay. okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, now, okay. Adam Sandler voiced Anna. It's, uh, <laughs> who voiced, deleted who, scenes. Who you voiced seen it. Anna? It would be Kristen Bell. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That is one movie that I have never seen and have no interest in. Well, one day when you pop a baby out, you probably will. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> now, we know that talk has the power to save lives, Rockaholics. So tonight, across all Odyssey stations, beginning at 7 o'clock, you can tune in for our I'm Listening broadcast, where some of our favorite artists, including Slash and Billy Corgan, will be featured, plus athletes and medical experts, all highlighting why it is so important to have honest and open conversations around mental health. You can get more info at KISW.com. Our phone number is 206-803-ROCK. And Rockaholics, we have a simple question for you. All we ask is that you have a sibling. 206-803-ROCK. We'll take your calls after Pearl Jam. The Daily Mix Show. Kansas City Chiefs rookie fullback Carson Steele made his first NFL start. What a great name, Carson Steele. Sounds like an adult film star name. It does, actually. He made his NFL start on September 22nd, and he helped the team beat the Atlanta Falcons, moving them to 3-0, which is very exciting. But the same day, his sister Kessler got married. Kessler Steele. But Carson skipped the wedding to replace the injured running back. And as an undrafted rookie, he ended up rushing for 17, sorry, 17 times for 72 yards. That's awesome. Had a great game. So then after the game, he was asked about missing the wedding. And this is what he had to say. Got to ask you, would you rather be here or at the wedding? I already know his answer. Would he rather be there or at the wedding? He's having a a chance to actually play in the game when he wasn't supposed to. I think we know the answer. Man, I, 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 I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but, uh, yeah, and I'll be here every day of the week, so every day of the week, but uh, love you, Kessler. Uh, yeah, there's your guys. Oh, man, let's go. So what happened? They just had the date planned extremely in advance? So at that point, they cut to uh, footage from her wedding. Aww. 
oh. and they have these big TV screens on the wall, <laughs> and everyone at the wedding is watching him, <laughs> him play the game, which I thought was pretty cool. Yes. Like, that's awesome. That they're, they're, they're like, we still got to support him, even though, uh, uh, although I wonder how his... His sister felt about that because I know, like Sarah, oh, would probably Lord. be mad that they're watching her of brother course. play f- football at her wedding. Hey, buddy, look at him too. That's you awesome. Yeah, love you, Kessler. Hope it went well, but uh, I'm picking this every day of the week. So. <laughs> I thought that was awesome. So this leads us to want to ask a simple question of our rockaholics. And we'll start with Andy from Puyallup. And that question is, would you be okay with your sibling missing your wedding? Uh, yeah, my my sister, she's four years older than me. Her kids were in my wedding, and her wedding was the most dramatic uh, wedding ever. <laughs> really? I didn't. Oh, yeah. It was down in Vegas. There was fights. Fits were thrown. <gasps> groomsmen and, and groom got to fight. Both moms got to fight with each other. It was, oh. It was fun. I was going to say, it's like the but, worst, but also the best wedding ever. Oh, yeah. The Vegas Hotel Security was in some wedding photos. It got so uh, so dramatic. Are they still together? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's awesome, Andy. Thank Thanks, you. Andy. Oh, Chris and Smokey Point, would you be okay with your sibling missing your wedding? Uh, yes, I would, because I missed his. Um, I missed my brother's wedding. He got married in Vegas like the previous caller, but um, I was on deployment. Oh. I was uh, I was out in the South China Sea at the time, so I got to I got to see pictures and stuff like that. He missed my first wedding though, so it kind of kind of evens out a little bit. He made it to my second one though. Nice, and that's why that one's still going, right? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> that's the good luck charm. Brittany and Marysville, would you be okay with your sibling missing your wedding? I don't think I would. I, I'm not. No, I would be a little upset. I would be a bitter Betty if they missed it. <laughs> Sarah's over here nodding her head. Oh, I thought that was Sarah on the phone pretending to be Brittany right now. <laughs> but what if you? What if your brother was in? A, he got to play in the NFL for the first time ever and had an opportunity to start. You'd still be mad at him. I mean, I guess that's a good excuse, but I would still be a little butt hurt about it. Wow. Yeah. That sounds very Sarah. I yeah. would not care. I, I and my brother was the best man. I, I remember telling him like it's it's a haul for you because he was in the military still and all that. I'm like it, if you can't make it, it's okay. Can we just note really quick that so far the guys have all said they'd be fine with it, and the girl was like, "Nah." So maybe it's different uh, for the bride or no, the groom. Seeing a trend. <laughs> yes, Matt in Woodenville, would you be okay with your sibling missing your wedding? Uh, for the money Carson's making, yeah, I'd be expecting a new car for a wedding present. <laughs> <laughs> it's a solid point. That is a great point. Greg from Tacoma, would you be okay with your sibling missing your wedding? No, I would not be okay with my sisters um, missing my wedding. My one stepsister did miss my wedding, unfortunately, but it was um, in 2022, kind of when all the COVID oh, restrictions were yeah. still going, and my stepsister was stuck on Kwajalein Island, and there was no no going off or coming to the island. So my, but my other sister was there. Where, um, where the hell is Kwajalein Island? Yeah, it's in the Marshall Islands. Oh. Well, I don't know where the Marshall <laughs> Islands are. <laughs> in the Pacific Ocean. Okay, I'll take that. I know where the Pacific Ocean is. Also, if you have a sibling that's potentially going to play professional football, why do you schedule your wedding for football season? Well, he was undrafted, so she probably didn't think that was going to happen. Well, you just never know. You just never know. She's like I saw how no you did. Nobody picked you. I, I'm not thinking. You might be on the practice squad. That's about as good as it's going to get. I will say that the minute you asked this question, I was watching Sarah in oh. the other room, and you should have seen her face. <laughs> we already know what Sarah would now, say. I know she would. She would not have a brother anymore because he would be dead. Yes, and you probably wouldn't even. Let's just say your brother played in the NFL. You wouldn't show the game at your wedding, would you? Because that, that takes away from the attention from the, the princess over here. Yeah, no, absolutely not. That's the reason why I didn't get married on a Sunday. Well, because that was George's rule, too. And I'm not trying to have, like, dudes on their phone, under the table, like, not paying yep. attention to me walking down the aisle and everything. That happened. I was at a wedding once, and I, I'll never forget the Seahawks were taking on the Indianapolis Colts. And I remember Matt Hasselbeck scored a touchdown, helped them score a touchdown. Oh. And I was kind of paying attention on my phone. And I was like, Ugh! And then the guy next to me goes, what happened? I'm like, they just scored. And he goes, like, yeah. And then all of a sudden, all these dudes are just like, go Hawks. Like, we were also like, why are you having a wedding on a, on a Seahawks right. game? Right. I will say, though, on a Sunday. I am I, I'm trying to have my mindset be a little bit more ma- like Matthew. Like, okay, if they're 
making a lot of money, there would be like a trade off. Like if you're gonna miss my wedding, then you need to buy me a house or something. Oh, a house. A whole yeah. ass house. A yeah. full house. I have this conversation with George. Like if we get pregnant and I'm in labor, but he gets offered like some crazy amount of money to miss out of the child of our birth, like I wanna be like, okay, that's fine. Because oh. we're gonna be rich. Otherwise you'd be really mad at him. Oh my yes. There's gotta be a payoff. <laughs> Yes, these are the conversations I have with him. But I had like family members not make my wedding, and their reasons I thought were kind of lame. One of them, I'm positive they didn't come because we didn't have her, their daughter, be one of the the ring flower girl, fl- the flower girl, whatever the hell it was. Yeah, and and they're like, my mom's like, well, why wouldn't you let them? I'm like, I've never met their kid. Oh. Like every time I come home, they're just they they haven't come over to visit. Like we haven't seen them. Like. It's awesome that they want to come, but now they're like, it was obvious that they didn't come because of that. That's a weird expectation to have. Yeah, it's like we have enough little children walking around carrying things at our wedding. I don't need another one, especially one that I've never even met. Well, last night was frustrating if you were watching the Mariners game. <clears throat> they are now two and a half games out of the wild card spot. And of course, And Mariners sadly, fans- there's still hope. <laughs> no. This is our year. This is our year. Of course, Mariners fans are pissed. So we're going to go straight to the comments at 820. The Daily Mix Show. Show. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance too with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. Everyone knows social media is a time suck. And what you're about to hear proves it. If it's online, someone, somewhere, has an opinion and is whining about it. So let's get straight to the comments. The Mariners lost last night to the Houston Astros, a score of 4-3. to three. I watched the game, and the whole time I'm watching, I'm like, why am I watching this? I know they're not going to score. They, they have, have plenty so many of opportunities. guys on base. I know. Plenty of opportunities to take the lead. They stranded many players on base all throughout the game, and with the season very close to an end, many Mariners fans are not very happy. So we're going to go straight to the comments. We sent a few of those posts. Well, we didn't send them to our production director, Jason, because Jason right now is doing a very good thing. He's doing the Lord's work. Mm-hmm. He's hanging out in New York right now producing I'm Listening, which is our mental health awareness program that's going to be airing tonight on all Odyssey stations. So be sure to check that out. He's been putting in a lot of work for that. So we don't want to bug him. So we got somebody else to fill in for him and uh, find the comments and reenact them however they want. And that person is South Park's own Cartman. Eric Cartman? Eric Cartman has decided to help us out and read some of the comments about the Mariners. I'm shocked he had the time in his busy schedule. He is a very busy kid, but we were able to talk to his parents, and we made it happen. (laughs) So you ready for the first comment about your Seattle Mariners, as read by Eric Cartman. Yeah. Why? 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 Why do I keep rooting for this team? (laughs) 
<laughs> okay, I've been was, saying that for 20 years. That was my post, actually. <laughs> I, I was thinking that all last night. I'm like, why do I keep letting myself think there's a glimmer of hope? And here I am still this morning. Well, we win tonight. Only, only two and a half wins lose. Luck. And, you know, there's still hope. I mean, it's, we got to get real lucky, and other teams got to get real unlucky. And then next thing you know, we're in the playoffs. And with that pitching staff, who knows what could happen? <laughs> and all of a sudden, I go on social media and write this. Why? 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 Why do I keep rooting for this team? I don't know. I start rooting for the Astros. Are you ready for the next comment? Yeah. Unpopular opinion, but go f*** yourself, Julio Rodriguez. Whoa. You suck f- all season until now. Thanks for nothing, d- squad. <gasps> wow. Right, that was from Danny. Yeah. I mean, it is crazy how he's just been a force recently, but it would have been nice to have him playing this well throughout the entire season. We wouldn't be here, probably, if he had picked up the pace a little bit. Go f*** yourself, Julio Rodriguez. I mean, that's a little extreme, though. Come on, Cartman. He's a very angry kid. <laughs> Here's our next comment about the Seattle Mariners. Again. Until the owners sell this team, this is what we can expect. I'm breaking up with you Mariners forever. Oh. Forever. Until next season. Yeah. Where we get, like, a cool Mariners montage video. One of the players puts, like, one of those awesome notes app posts on their social media pages. And you're like, you know what? This is the year. You're right, big dumper. <laughs> couple more comments about the Mariners through the the eyes and mouth of Eric Cartman. What a joke. <laughs> they should be demoted to be a minor league team so long as me have minor league ownership. They have shit on us for too long as fans. We need to boycott this bitch ass team. <laughs> Go Seahawks. <laughs> <laughs> and that part might be my favorite. <laughs> we need to boycott this bitch ass team. Go Seahawks. <laughs> I'm with I'm with Carmen. Let's boycott this bitch ass team. Who's with us? One more comment. Hey, f-ers, how about you leave some more runners on base? What another wasted season. Okay, Cartman. Cartman just saying all of our inside thoughts outside. We need to boycott this bitch ass team. Go Seahawks. <laughs> Go Seahawks. So I know the other day we th- someone had done the math and it was like a 5% chance of yeah. making the playoffs. What is it now? Like a, It's got to be like 3. 2.8%. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of we need. It's not like we control our own destiny. Like even if like they end up winning what the next four. You know, you know I love my wife last night watching the game. She's like, you know, we should try and go to a Mariners game this season. And I was like, oh, yeah? She's like, yeah, dude. Do you think we can look into any games coming up? Like, there's one more series left. Like, you waited until the like she did this last year too. She's like, we should go to a Mariners game. Like, they're just about to wrap up the season. There's a day game on Sunday. Yeah, it's not. It's the last one of the season. Wow. We need to boycott this bitch ass team. (laughs) As of yesterday, according to Google, it was a nine point six percent chance. Was that before the game? I believe it was. Yeah, (laughs) because they were things were looking a lot brighter until they lost yesterday. Mm, Sad. Rockaholics, we have some very good friends at Motley Zoo Animal Rescue, and they could definitely use our help today. They fell victim to a scam. A stupid scam. And they don't even know that we're asking for donations, but we really hope that you can step up and help them out today. Just a random act of kindness would go a long way today. We saw one in a Facebook post, and they were just talking about how like this, what they thought was going to be a huge donation was going to be like a game changer for them and keeping their doors open and just like, you know, a light at the end of the tunnel. I guess things have been very hard for them recently, and I can understand that. Like, it's a small business. They're just trying to get by, help people get animals that are in need a forever home so any amount's going to help right now we just want to help make them realize that there is a light at the end of this tunnel and yesterday was a crappy day but hopefully today will be a good day for them and shout out to all the rockaholics i've seen on the text line people have said hey i donated 169 bucks i donated nice. 20 bucks i donated five dollars again we don't have a set goal we just saw that this was going on this morning and we just wanted to help make a difference for them because they're just a good group of people trying to do a good thing so if you could donate go to motleyzoo.org why is an NFL owner spending time chatting about his player's package size? Go We're- Seahawks! We're going to tell you what's trending after Nirvana. The Daily Mix Show. As you make your moves this morning, Rockaholics, you might be a little confused by everything going on in the world of pop culture. And we're here to help you out, to break it down and tell you what's trending. What's trending on the Daily Mix Show. Ellen DeGeneres has a new stand-up special called For Your Approval. It's out now. Have but you watched it? Nope. And from what Do you I have hear, interest in watching it? From what I hear, maybe I shouldn't watch it. Already getting a lot of negative reception. 
critics are all over her about this. Dude, honestly, I had no interest in watching it until I started seeing people like crapping all over. Now I'm like, I kind of want to see what this is. Why? What, what happened? Like, why is it so bad? Well, they say there's two viral clips that have drawn the most mockery. One is where she walks out on stage with a backdrop with negative comments about her. Like tweets and posts. It's, yeah. nice. it's very artistic and serious. And then the other where she repeats, I'm a strong woman, and that has a bunch of extended applause. I grabbed that clip and I, I'm not, this wasn't edited. This is straight from the Netflix special. Listen to how long this applause goes for. I don't even think we'd be able to play it because it goes on for that long. Are you? Oh, wow. So here we go. And I'm impatient and I'm demanding. I'm direct. I'm a strong woman. <laughs> Just so you know, there's still 40 more seconds of this applause that's You're about to joking. happen. I'm, I'm not kidding. It's still going. And she's just standing up there like, I'm so touched by all of you. This is, is this, is now this Now they're real? standing up. Yes, now they're like standing a, up. It's an actual crowd? Yeah, those are real people. Those aren't robots. Have you seen this, Danny? It's still going. I would have thought for sure that was like fake. Right. Like somebody edited this so that it would be this way. You don't think there's any chance that that is true? That that they could have doctored it up a little bit? I mean, sure. I think it's just all these people who just are idiots. Personally, <laughs> I always say I'm always like when people start standing up for whatever reason. Like when I, we go to our radio conventions and someone says and everyone starts standing up, I'm like. I have to stand up, man. I'm comfortable. Like, <laughs> what they just said wasn't that important. Do we wow. have to stand up and applaud it right now? <laughs> oh, am I the only one that thinks that? Yeah. Oh, so you like to stand up and applaud people all the time? You know what? It gives me some blood circulation. So, yes, I do, Steve. The only time I want to stand up at our conventions is because I want to go to the bathroom and never come back. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that happens a lot. <laughs> it does. Pretty much every <laughs> single panel. Well, now out of curiosity, I just want to watch this thing. Yeah. See how bad it might be. Well, speaking of watching this thing, there's a video that's gone viral showing Jerry Jones discussing a player's package with Jamie Foxx during a past training camp. This is such a strange story because apparently somebody brought it up to Jerry Jones like, I never did that. I never had that conversation. I have no idea what you're talking about, even though there is an audio and video clip of him talking to Jamie Foxx where you hear it playing this day. If you, He doesn't remember it. So as a reminder to him, here's that moment of Jerry Jones talking, Cowboys owner, talking to uh, Jamie Foxx about a player's package. Whoa! You talk about the guy's size, like weight, how fast he runs, how big his unit is. <laughs> All so, the important statistics. I don't know why, but somebody just said to ask Jerry the question of, hey, do you remember when you talked about that player's dong? And this is what Jerry had to say. Uh, we uh, uh, have had a lot of experience watching players, talking about players, talking about games. And so uh, it's just kind of ironic, I think, when that was supposed to have happened with uh, a few years back, but uh, I don't recall it. But it happened. Yeah. I think he was just goofing around, though. Yeah. Don't you think? Of course. Just like, hey, he's, he's five, six, I'm not five, six, that's too small. Six, six foot three, he's 247 pounds, he can run a four, you know, whatever, and he's got a nine inch wiener. <laughs> and that's, that's, I mean, that's great. You know, it's not like he was talking and he said something that might have been embarrassing for the guy. Now I want to see that during, like, the, the games. You know how they're like, you know, it's like Geno Smith, University of whatever. Geno Smith. <laughs> Ain't a half. Where I would I? watch way more football if they did that. Let For me the tell player you. introduction? Yes. Instead of, what, instead of what school they went to, what they're packing down below? Absolutely. That's who I would have chose for fantasy football. Oh, oh that's a different fantasy, Sarah. Rockaholics, how would you like to beat Steve, especially if it's your birthday? Because apparently you've already battled two birthday people. So, so far, we're two for two of birthday people. Yeah, so if it's your birthday, definitely call us up. He's got a record of 271 wins, 76 losses, and 49 ties in 2024. 206-803-ROCK. We're going to play Beat Migs at 850. The Daily Mig Show. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance too with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. 
Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see Unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance too with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. The Daily Big Show presents the most popular radio game on this side of the speaker. Let's play B Mix. B Mix. Beat Migs. I know Joe from Mount Vernon is. Joe, are you there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Sarah, your host, and it's time for you to get out of here, Steve. Bye-bye. Is it Joe's birthday? Joe, is it your birthday today? It is not. Not, okay. not for a couple months. <laughs> Well, I guess we're still rooting for you. <laughs> for those playing at home, Joe has 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. You can pass all you want, but you only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Let's do it. Which bird is known for its colorful feathers and ability to mimic sounds? Peacock. No. Carrot. There we go, yes. What organ in the human body is responsible for pumping blood? The heart. Correct. What singer had the hit songs All I Want to Do and Soak Up the Sun? 
Uh, Cheryl Crow. Yes. What animal is a subtle part of the logo on a Tablerone bar? A bull? No. Pass. Channing Tatum and Scarlett Johansson starred in the 2024 romantic comedy titled Fly Me to the What? The Moon? Correct. Where were the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights stored during World War II? Uh, the Capitol building? No. Pass? The National Archives? No. Pass. Corn had the late 90s hit song Freak on a What? Leash. Correct. Buenos Aires is the capital of what country? Argentina. Yes. Right. Woo, had to get that one in for you, Joe. You got six correct. That was more I'll than I thought it, it was going to yeah, be. You got some toughies in there. Yeah. Yeah. How do you think Steve's going to do? Mm. I don't know. Steve Steve went in there and fueled up. I don't know if you guys he noticed. He took the entire bag with him. Yeah. He's, he's all hyped up on popcorn now. Is that Ow. brain food? Yep. Popcorn's always brief. Today's food. victory brought to you by Lumberjack Popcorn. <laughs> okay, you haven't won yet. I Chill. know, but I feel very smart after eating Lumberjack Popcorn. <laughs> Do you? Yes. Are you ready? Oh, yeah! Which bird is known for its colorful feathers and ability to mimic sounds? Oh, woodpeckers. No, wait, <laughs> parrot. Yes. Oh. What organ in the human body is responsible for pumping blood? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was going to say the heart, you guys. I don't know what's wrong with you. Thank you. Yes. What singer had the hit songs All I Want to Do and Soak Up the Sun? Let's have some fun. Do, mm-hmm. do, 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 do. Cheryl Crow. Yes. What animal is a subtle part of the logo on a Tablerone bar? Oh, hell if I know. Is it a Toblerone or is it a Tablerone? I don't know. Is I it- thought it was okay. Toblerone, but you know. Um, a horse? A tablerone. No. Donkey? No. Uh cow. No. Channing Tatum and Scarlett Johansson starred in the 2024 romantic comedy titled Fly Me to the What? Bunny Ranch. <laughs> no. Moon? Yes. Where were the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights stored during World War II? The Bunny Ranch. <laughs> no. Uh, the Smithsonian? No. The Octagon? No. Corn had the late 90s hit song Freak on a What? Freak on a Leash. Yeah. Steve. Mm. I feel kind of bad because I like rushed the last question to uh, Joe and he got it right. But, you know, you're not going to get it. Any chance to screw Steve over. She's all for it. And you know what? That's the difference maker because, Steve, you got five correct, which is a loss. Six to five. Let's go, Joe. And still undefeated. (gasps) That's right. I'll put an asterisk on this one. I don't know. I'm just joking. You flaunt that undefeatedness. Yeah. So what was the question that you rushed through to help him and not me? One that you're probably going to get right. Buenos Aires is the capital of what country? Argentina. Wow. Yikes. So sorry, though. You ran out of time. (laughs) (laughs) You sound like Willy Wonka. I'm so sorry. (laughs) You spent so much time singing Cheryl Crow songs. That's true. Good day, sir. (laughs) Uh, What were the Declaration of Independence, Constitution, Bill of Rights stored during World War II? I was looking. Abraham Lincoln statue? I was looking for Fort Knox. Oh, oh. Well, you didn't get it from me. I didn't get it from Joe either. It's okay. You wouldn't have gotten it from me. I just have the answers in front of me. And then what animal is a subtle part of the logo on the Toblerone bar? I had to Google image it and I still had to search for it. What is it? It's a bear. Really? Everyone look at, look at a picture and find the bear. <laughs> Underrated yeah. candy, if you ask me. You know, yeah. It is really good. Yeah, but, but you com- never get them. Mm-mm. No, because it comes in, it, there's a lot. You get like the, the, the little triangle break. They break up in the little triangles, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Do you see the bear? Yeah, I, I also see it's Toblerone. Yeah. Is it Toblerone? I mean, there's an O. T-O. Yeah, why are you calling it Tablerone? I said Toblerone. Tob. Toblerone. Toblerone. <laughs> okay, if you, okay, T-O-B, right? Tob. How do you say Tom? How do you say Toby? Tobby. Tobby. (laughs) Tom Toblerone. That's not crazy. Wait, yours, but you're using your your argument is based on a T O M, but it's a T O B. Yeah. Just like Toby. Toblerone. If it was Tom Lerone, then yeah, it would be Tom Lerone. (laughs) Can can I start the song yet, guys? Taryn, what did you do to (laughs) us? I can't pronounce a lot of things right, but sometimes it makes sense when I read it. I'm going to walk out of the in studio. In my brain. I'm going to follow you out. Maybe I need some popcorn because if it's a brain food, I need it. It didn't work for me. Well, congratulations on losing. Yeah, it sure didn't. <laughs>
<laughs> for alcoholics, we know that talk has the power to save lives. And tonight, across all Odyssey stations at 7 o'clock, I'm listening returns, and it will feature some of our favorite rock artists like Billy Corgan and Slash, plus athletes and medical experts will be weighing in on why it is so important to have open and honest conversations around mental health. So you can get all the info on tuning in at KISW.com. It's not Tabasco. You know what? I'm going to find a T-O-B word, and it's going to be Tob. What the Toblerone. <laughs> I'm excited to ask this next question because I think it might be happening right now. Have you ever felt like your life turned into a real-life soap opera or a reality show? Yes, but more so because of the people I surround myself around. <laughs> 206-803-ROCK. We want to know, what was that moment in your life that you felt like you were living in a reality show or your life turned into a soap opera? 206-803-ROCK. We'll take your calls after Guns N' Roses. The Daily Mix Show. Have you ever felt like your life turned into a real-life soap opera? Drama, drama, drama. Maybe a reality show. 206-803-ROCK. Johnny Depp was at a film festival in Spain promoting a movie where he he had directed it. It's called, is it Modi or Modi? It's called I'll Never See This Movie. Three, it looks way too artsy-fartsy for me. Three Days on the Wings of Madness. And Johnny shared that his life was turned into a soap opera to the point that it was even televised. And it, we grabbed a little clip from the press conference. Man, he is just a chill dude. It's almost like, are we listening to Johnny Depp or Eddie Vedder? Number of things here and there. Maybe yours wasn't didn't turn into a soap opera. Um, but I mean, televised and fact and all that. But, um, Imagine being at a dinner party. I mean, it'd be cool to be like on oh, a dinner party with Johnny Depp, but then like he's holding court and he's talking. It's it's just so odd because he can be so zany and goofy in these movies, but mm-hmm. then he's like that in real life. Yeah, but like Johnny, act like you give a crap. Can you do Jack Sparrow, please? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, Rockaholics, if you ever had that moment where your life turned into a soap opera or a reality show, give us a call or shoot us a text, 206-803-ROCK. Uh, so I text in, uh, this last month it felt like a soap opera or a reality show. My roommate's trying to force my landlord out of her own home by bringing up some false accusations about her and taking her to court. I had a little panic a few weeks ago from all the drama, but hopefully tomorrow the courts are going to kick her out of the place that I'm staying in and my landlord can be cleared of any wrongdoing. Oh, my goodness. Have you ever had anything that was dramatic, like some soap opera stuff going on in your world? I mean, I feel like, yeah, like we had a, I had a girlfriend one time that started dating this guy that ended up being like kind of insane. And all of our, all of the friends started to realize just how insane he was. And okay. He, he'd almost kind of started to brainwash her a little bit. And then we found out that he was tracking her. He had put something on her phone. No. He had put a bug on her car. Jeez. So we were doing like wellness checks because we were like, this guy's psycho. And how how was she taking it? Like, at what point did she finally go? You guys were right. I mean, it was probably it was a while afterwards. Like, we really? got we kind of got him to leave her alone, and and then you know, did you guys show time, up to his house with like a hammer? Oh no, but I, I did I did run into him at a at an event one time, and I was just like, I kind of gave him that look, like I know I'm on to you. Yeah, don't even don't even mess with me. Uh, but you know, you gotta look out for your friends. The most soap opera thing I think I get ever, the first one that pops into my mind was the time when I was dating a girl, and and a family member of hers was pregnant. But didn't know who the dad was. Uh, she was like, she was on a break from her marriage, started dating another guy, and then got knocked up, and wasn't sure if it was from the husband or because the timing was like right around the time maybe where she was getting busy with both of them. Wow! And they didn't know who the dad was until the baby came out of her. And then did, was it clear who the dad was at that yes. point? Oh boy! And just to make it like, so I was there. I was at the hospital while all this was going on. And, like, when I found that out, my I'm just like, this is amazing. Because like, it didn't impact me. Like, I'm like, who's it going like, to? They're like, yeah. And these two guys were very different. Like, they, ethnically, they were very different. Wow. So, like, you knew when the kid came out, it was, and it turned out it wasn't, it wasn't the guy that she was hanging out with. It was the ex or, like, the, oh. the person she was on a break with. And so all that goes on. And, you know, I'm there, and the guy that's there... At the hospital was the other guy. Oh. Like, did, did he know? That... He didn't know until the the baby came out. So he thought it was his until. Well, he was hoping it was a fifty fifty chance. Okay, so he knew there was a fifty fifty chance. Yes. Ooh, gosh. This was insane. Is... And I remember, yes. like after all that happened, I I, saw, I remember looking at my my ex being like, "Well, that was crazy." And she got so mad at me. She's like, well, "How could you say that?" I'm like, "Do we not 
are we are are we not hearing the same thing coming out of like your family member's mouth? Like this is crazy. Like this isn't this isn't usual. This is how people find out who their kid is by the baby being born, and then you're like, well, yeah, it's clearly his, not yours. Have a good day. Go home. Oh my gosh! Oh. It was it was it was dramatic. Life is fun. Yeah, I was, and the whole time, all I'm thinking was like, I'm just glad it's not me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Rockaholics, we are hoping that you can help us out with a random act of kindness today. Our dear friends over at Motley Zoo Animal Rescue got scammed, which is just annoying and frustrating and very sad. And they ended up not getting a very big donation that would have drastically changed the course of the business. So they don't know that we are doing this, but all morning long, we've been asking you to step up and donate if you're able. Any amount will help them out, and then they can wake up today to some good news. It's been really cool seeing a bunch of rock hogs saying, I just donated 100 bucks. I wish I could donate more. $100 is a lot. So I mean, mm-hmm. even if you only donate $5, that's plenty. Like Every amount's going to help. This is a small business that's just trying to keep their doors open, and they do great things for the animals around here and, and find for Forever homes for a lot of these animals and just good rock and roll family business kind of a thing going on with them. Obviously, they call their company Motley Zoo. They name their animals after like rock stars and stuff like that. They've been to a bunch of our festivals. They're just good people and we just want to make their day a little bit better, especially after yesterday sucked so much. Mm -hmm. So you can head over and support at MotleyZoo.org. The Daily Mix Show. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue and guess what now you can call them on your auto insurance too with the name your price tool from progressive it works just the way it sounds you tell progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget get your quote today at progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust progressive progressive casualty insurance company and affiliates price and coverage match limited by state law Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. All morning long, we have received texts and calls from you that we've not yet had a chance to chat with you about. But right now, we are checking in with the Rockaholics. So please do give us a shout if there's something you'd like to chime in on from the show this morning or if there's something on your mind you'd like to discuss. 206-803-ROCK. Now, Steve Miggs, when we got in this morning, you hipped us to something that was going on with a a friend of ours, an organization of ours uh, that we're friends with, and, and maybe you can shed a little light on that. I was just on Facebook, and I'm just scrolling through, and our friend Jamie, who's uh, who runs uh, Motley Zoo Animal Shelter at MotleyZoo.org, posted something about getting scammed and how it was like they thought they were going to get a big donation, and it turns out it was just a giant scam, and it was just like they're just struggling to keep the doors open, and something like that would have been like the ultimate like godsend. And I was like, oh, that's... That just, it just really pissed me off. I was just like, man, that just sucks that somebody would do that to them. And then I was like, well, what could we do? I was like, oh, you know what would be a cool thing to do is just ask our listeners to just as a random act of kindness, just go to motleyzoo.org and donate whatever they can. That way, you know, five bucks, 10 bucks, 100 bucks. And we've seen from the Rock Hogs, so it's all different amounts. People have been texting us saying that they've donated because, you know, of course, we all love animals. Mm-hmm. And what they do is just a great thing for the animals around here that need a forever home. And, all I was hoping is that they, maybe they'd wake up in the morning and they'd see some good news for a change as opposed to the bad news that they got yesterday. Yeah. And thanks to the Rock Hogs who've been donating all morning. And guess who we have on the phone right now? We have Jamie, Jamie. from Motley Zoo Animal Rescue. Good morning, Jamie. Hi. Hi. It's 
I, it was a good morning to wake up and, and get this news. So I, I will say uh, it, today's a good day, and I really appreciate what you guys are doing for us. So thank you. Oh, anytime, anytime. You guys do such incredible work. And, and MotleyZoo.org, if anyone wants to continue to donate. But uh, tell us what happened. So <clears throat> we got this email from Mackenzie Scott, and I was at an event, actually. I was backstage at a concert uh, with Biba Doobie. And, um, and so I was just scanning my emails while I'm, you know, chatting with them and watching the animals. And, and I see this email from Mackenzie Scott, and I'm like, wait a minute, what? And so, you know, on your phone, you can't see easily who it's from unless you, like, push a couple clicks or, you know, like the actual email or whatever. So so I just start reading the email, and it says that, you know, Motley Zoo, and, you know, they use our language, like, from our website. Like, they, they delve deep to figure out this stuff out. And it said, you know, we'd like Motley Zoo to receive a $6 million grant. And... And I'm the look on my face, like my volunteer friends were like, what? Are you okay? And I'm, I just handed them the phone and I was like, is this real? Like, can you read this for me and like, look at this? And they, their faces changed and everything. And the bands were like, what's going on? And, and I was like, I don't know, but maybe we just got a huge grant. And I'm like, I'm not, you know, getting overly excited about it yet, but, um, but, you know, you can't help but just read those words and feel the feelings of like, oh, my God, this would make such a difference to to what we're doing. Um, and so then, you know, one of our uh, board members quickly, you know, did some sleuthing and found out, you know, OK, no, this is a scam. Um, and so, you know, obviously I took it with a grain of salt, but just that people are doing that to charities and, and doing such deep dives and into their website so like even this morning we got another email from them so we've received three emails from them trying to get information from us and And it's just like it's it's, and it's like the beauty of ai i feel like nowadays like because i sometimes get like nothing like where they're trying to like the charity thing but like you'll be like hey we saw this on your page and I'm like, and it started reading. I'm like, oh man, that they, they just have artificial intelligence. It just will scour your, your social media or your website or whatever. Yep. And they can just twist it and turn it into something that seems very sincere. Yes. And that is exactly what it is. It's the most convincing, you know, thing that I've ever seen in, in a, in a scam. So yeah, well, it's just very disappointing. I don't know that our listeners are able to help cover $6 million <laughs> this morning, no, but I certainly no. hope we've been able to make some sort of a dent in just sharing the good word of Motley Zoo Animal Rescue and all the great things that you guys do for our furry friends in this area. So um, MotleyZoo.org is where people can go for more information. Thank you. Yes. And I, as of like a short time ago, it, it was up to about $3,000 and that is wow. amazing. That can help us. That can help us vet at least five dogs. So that makes a difference. And and then that care has gone up in price and it, the animals are staying longer. So it is uh, it is all so very helpful. And I'm, I'm very touched and humbled by, you know, the generosity of the Rockaholics and for you guys, you know, to help take this on and, and really support us. So we're really, really grateful. And Jamie, out of curiosity, are you guys in a place right now where you need fosters? Are you looking for people to oh. help foster animals and things of that nature as well? Yes, for sure. This past year has been the hardest we've ever seen. And adoptions, uh, adopters, fosters, and donations have dropped by over 50%. Uh, So we're trying to rescue four to five times as many animals as we've ever seen with less than half the resources. So if you've ever thought about, you know, adopting, fostering, or, you know, supporting an organization that really, really needs it, um, you know, now now's the time. Go to our website at motlazy.org and we'll get you information about how to get involved and how to how to help support. So, well, thanks so much for calling us up and sharing a little bit more about your story. They today. have a puppy named Corey Feldman. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes, he met we- Corey Feldman too. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, Jamie. Thanks for sharing more of the Motley Zoo story, and we hope to just you know keep those donations rolling in today and far beyond today. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. We we love you guys, and, and I just can't even tell you how much we appreciate this. So thanks, Rockaholics. You guys are awesome. Rock on, Jamie. And if anyone wants to continue to donate, uh, obviously, we didn't. We always set goal. This was just something we saw online. We're like, let's just try and improve their day because they do such great stuff. Just go to MotleyZoo.org. Nice. Well, yesterday, something pretty crazy happened while Barrett was at Taekwondo class, where I'm pretty sure another kid may have gotten concussed. The hell did he do to the kid? He didn't do it to the kid. It happened. Okay, I'll tell you. Okay.
I'll tell you the full story at 9.50. The Daily Mix Show. Yesterday, I took my son Barrett to his Taekwondo class, as I do a couple times a week, and something kind of crazy happened, and I, I did send you guys a video so you could see that he was minding his own business when this went down, but basically what happened was an obstacle course was set up for the kids, and there was this one part where they were going to have to kind of almost leapfrog over this piece of equipment, but okay. the piece of equipment, even from where I was sitting, looked like it was way too big for four, five, and six-year-olds. And I'm looking at it going, this doesn't look like it's going to end well. Do you feel like it would be way too big for, you know, a, a, a mom in her 30s? Yes. Okay, okay. Like, I would have struggled to leapfrog over this thing. Because kids got hops, and, it's not, and they're also fearless. I've watched that with my daughter sometimes. They I'm just like, what, send it. Why are you trying to jump that? That sounds like a terrible idea. And then she does. So this, the little girl in his class is really good. Like, she's awesome. She's got her yellow belt. She's on fire. But she goes, she approaches this jump and goes to do it, and her feet catch and she just face planted hard into the ground. You think it was one of the white belts that <laughs> strategized to take her down a notch or two? So of course the te- she's like, my nose, my nose and the teacher runs over. I'm like looking for blood but I'm also filming. I was not filming her I was filming my son because he looked so cute but then this is happening in the background so I was just getting the audio of this disaster and he starts doing the like how many fingers am I holding up thing to see if she's like okay. Okay. And it turned out she... Was she right? Did she she seemed right like now? she was fine. Okay. But they, I was like, we have to go into, like, concussion protocol here. And then, after this happened, they modified that portion of the obstacle course. But I hate to say I told you so, but I saw that coming from a mile away. Yeah, there are some times where I'm... I'm like, like, right now, Tatum's doing um, a tap dance. And watching those kids run around that dance floor with tap dance shoes on, it's like... I'm waiting for a disaster to happen. They're all sliding and falling. And I think it's hilarious because no one's gotten hurt. So it's kind of funny to me. Although, talk about taking pictures or filming. I had the most almost embarrassing moment yesterday. So she's doing ballet yesterday. And I'm like, oh, what she was doing was just hilarious. So I zoomed all the way in to get a good shot of her. And I was like, oh, I'll get a little video, get a little picture action. And right when I was taking this up-close picture of her, her teacher stands right in front of her. So now it looks like I've zoomed in on the teacher's butt. You're a pervert, Steve. Right. I, I never... Like drop my phone quicker. I'm like, this is all I need. It's a bunch of soccer moms. Like all like, who's the creepy guy taking who's taking close ups of the teacher's butt? Which was not what I was going to quickly like delete it. I'm like, even though it's like so innocent, I was obviously just. But I was like, I don't even want to be looked at that way. Oh no! So when they do tap dance, like, does she already have her little tap shoes and everything? Oh yeah, little white tap dance shoes. And so, can you? I've I've never worn tap shoes. Do they have like a tapper on the front and the back? You know it. Really? Yeah. Sarah's nodding because she was a dance dance kid. Oh yeah, I can bring my tap shoes in and you can try them on and go go clickety clack if Wait, you want. you have adult tap shoes? Yes, adults do tap it's, too, it's, Taryn. It's just a pair of sneakers <laughs> with a bunch of thumbtacks pushed in the front and the back. Just glued a couple washers yeah. on there. I mean, they are like 20 years old. I was say, I when's the last them. time you wore those? It's been a while, but I keep them for, for instances like this. Okay, so. here's what we're going to do. You're going to bring in your tap shoes. Okay. And I'm going to bring in my pom-poms. Okay. And we're going we're gonna to show these guys what we're made of, what we used to do 20 years ago. Could you tap while asking ago. questions for beat megs? I mean, I mean, we have a carpet here, but I could try. Yes, stand on them. I will one hundred. If you let me stand on this, hell yeah, I will tap all day for you. She thinks it's cowgirls, guys. I was say, how's the support on these things? I, oh I, think hey, got, I think we're okay. If I fall, I fall. It happens. We'll have you sign a waiver. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, let's, I can't wait to see it. I'm excited. Let's go. There is a restaurant in Seattle that was picked of, as one of America's best restaurants by the New York Times. We're going to tell you all about it during the Daily Mix download after Incubus. The Daily Mix Show. The Daily Mix Show. Knowledge is power. So give us five-ish minutes and we'll give you uh, some interesting stuff you can talk about at work. This is the Daily Mix download. A.K.A. the DMD. Here's your daily dose of doings happening in the world. And our friend Ryan Castle is here. Yeah. Good morning, Ryan. Did you and know she- today is National One Hit Wonder Day? Uh, I did know that, in fact. What is your favorite One Hit Wonder? Well, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I used to be the, the assistant tour manager for Dexy's Midnight Runners. <laughs> Come on, Eileen. Eileen. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, that Eileen was a popular girl. <laughs> oh, I can only imagine. Especially if they spell it like that Quiet Riot song. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the DMV. See, the joke was already there. You didn't have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the TMD is brought to you by Palace Law. Mariners lost yesterday, four to three. Now they're two and a half games back. And to quote the great Cartman, we need to boycott this bitch ass team. <laughs> go Seahawks! There we go. I heard this morning they have a three percent chance of making is that it. What it is? Three percent. So you're telling me there's a chance? Ooh. Crack and loss. The storm were eliminated from the playoffs. Pretty much, it sucked yesterday to be a Seattle sports fan. Well, let's celebrate something in Seattle. Family Friend, which is a Guamanian Filipino American restaurant in Beacon Hill. It was named one of America's best restaurants in 2024 by the New York Times. That's awesome. So they're very well known for the burger, the seafood tostada, and the chicken adobo tacos. And it's the only Washington State spot that made the list. It is a casual first come first served establishment, and I think so, we need to go on a field trip. I was about to say after this, there's no chance we're going to get served. No. What, what's lunch today? A, a, a Guam, what is it called again? Guamanian Filipino American restaurant. Yeah. Family friend. Family okay. friend. Let's do it. I mean, yeah. they got cocktails. They do. Okay. I, I saw a chick's Instagram that was there. They have I really mean, cool cocktails. Pri- I'm sure the food is fine, but do they have cocktails? <laughs> they don't open until 5 p.m., so we're going to be oh. waiting a while for lunch. It's a late lunch. A late lunch. Well, maybe another day. <laughs> oh, man. Well, not this weekend, though. I don't know if I'm, I'm driving into Seattle this weekend. Have you heard about what's going on? Everything seems to be closed as far as, like, road closures and, and freeways. Like, 520 is going to have some closures. 405 as well. 167. Honestly, like, if you are not, if you don't have a reason to come into Seattle, probably just best just to stay home. Uh, good. I'll be fishing in Astoria. That works out. Is that, oh, you're going Won't to have to worry about it. I didn't plan it that way, but good. You're like a real angler now, Ryan Castle. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's going to be going on for a few weekends, too. So have fun with that the next few weekends here in Seattle. Yikes. There's a man in Maine who is in custody after allegedly going on a rampage at a car dealership in the middle of the night where he managed to smash up 75 cars. Wow. He caused up to $90,000 worth of damage. Michael is the general manager of the car dealership, and he's talking about the vandalism. This can be replaced, and which we will. Uh, and I'm just I'm very I'm happy that uh, this was all that happened in the large scope of things. That's a glass is half full kind of guy. Yeah. I'd be pretty pissed. I, I, I want to find out the why. Crazy. Why not? Disgruntled no. former employee. Yeah. Mariners fan. Oh, yeah. We need to well, boycott that's... this bitch-ass team. <laughs> Go Seahawks. <laughs> hey, as far as weather, we're going to hit a high of 63 degrees. It's going to be rainy today as well. Yay, the sun's gone. and Well, it's actually nice out right now. But it's going away. It's going to suck eventually. The, the dark months are coming. Just like the Mariners. It's going to suck oh. eventually. <laughs> that is the DMD, and that's what's up. Ryan Castle is up next with the Morning 12 Pack. The Daily Mix Show. The Daily Mix Show. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance, too, with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. 